Hey everybody, Beth here, Finage Finds. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you're new here, I'm a reseller on Poshmark, Etsy, eBay, and Mercari. And um, I resell pretty much anything, but I focus on vintage stuff I can flip for, or I can find for cheap, and especially jewelry, which is what we're doing today. So um, it's been a while since I posted a video, um, and I just hope that everybody's okay, that you're healthy and you're safe. Um, if you're a reseller, I hope that your sales are doing well and that you're able to still source somehow. Um, I've been sourcing on shopgoodwill.com quite a bit and I've worked my way through my death pile for sure. So um, yeah, so this is actually a shopgoodwill.com lot that I bid on and won. It's been really hard to win um, any lots lately with everybody else sourcing from there or more people sourcing um, because the prices are going crazy. Um, I mean, even the grab bags that you, you know, they might be like 12 pounds. So it's quite a bit of jewelry, but go up over a hundred dollars where before I could get them for probably 50 plus shipping or, or something like that. So I've been having to really have a strategy when I'm bidding. And, um, there are some lots where they're just grab bags. You can't see what's in it. You can see things on the outside and decide. Um, but there are also lots where you can see everything that you're getting all laid out. There are 25 pieces in it, and after shipping, the total I paid was $49.50. First, we have this um, Lampwort glass bead bracelet. Really pretty with a toggle clasp. So it's like purples and greens. I think that's really pretty. And there are people that I really like this Lampwork. There were quite a few bracelets in this lot. Um, let me just show you the whole thing here. So it's got like these little silver almost like charms and oops it is marked right there let's see what it says goldette i think so i'll have to look that up let's see if it's magnetic it is not so that oh I don't think it is, but I'll test it just in case. So with it not being magnetic, um, it could be silver, it could be something else, but if it's magnetic, it is likely not silver. So that's a good sign. This is nice and heavyweight. Um, yeah, I just think it's really pretty. A lot of springy um, things, so flowers and bees or flies. And so yeah, great time to try to sell this. Next, I have this kind of medieval looking bracelet. I actually just sold um, a Sarah Coventry one like this that looked a lot like it but the the circles were all different colors and they were more rounded. These are kind of flat um, but it had this nice filigree look and kind of wide. So let me see. Yeah definitely like a statement piece. Um, it's got a flat like fold over closure. I'm trying to look for any marks. I don't see, oh, oh, I do, I do, I do, I don't even need that, it says Emmons, so that's a good brand, um, and it came with matching earrings, which also say Emmons on them, so these are clip-on earrings, they're very heavy, so I'll probably sell these together as a set, and some keywords I'm thinking are, um, Royal, regal, cosplay, uh, medieval, um, gothic. Yeah, those are some things I can think of right now. So I think that'll do really well. I'm, I might start at 25, maybe a little bit more. Next we have um, this these gray faux pearls, kind of like rosary style. And then um, a cross pendant with just some dark little faux stones it doesn't have a mark but I think I'll try to sell this I do love selling rosaries and crosses um, especially if they're unique like this so I think I'm gonna try to sell this for about $15 next we have a set um, with some cluster earrings and a triple strand necklace if I can figure it out there we go so um, I like the colors going on here, but 
I don't like the beads very much. They're plastic and light, and um, I do like this bead. It's pretty. But I think these are just going to go in a lot. They'll make a nice other piece for somebody. These are nice beads to deal with or to work with. So I'll put those in a lot probably. This is another one that's probably just going to go in a lot. I, when I saw it, I thought that it was hematite because of the color. Um, but the weight, there's really not much weight to it. And I just really don't think it's real hematite. It's just um, fake, which is fine. But um, I think it would be better used in a craft. Another thing going in the craft lot. So these are the little clips that you put on your collar. And it has a little chain between. Um, it's missing the stone right here. And there's also some finish that's rubbed off. Um, it says patent pending on it. And this part is not magnetic, so I'll test it. I don't know. But yeah, they're not. In, it's not in good shape. These are kind of, um, I don't know. They're just typical vintage looking. They're just not very well made. This is plastic. Looks like it's, yeah, some kind of plastic. It's not a bad shade. It's pretty. Uh, no marking. They're clip-ons. Um, clip-ons do sell. I sell quite a few, but... You know, as far as value, they're a little bit less than pierced post earrings. And there's just nothing really special about these, so um, I'm going to put them in a craft lot. Next, these are definitely vintage, and I love them. But unfortunately, this one has a lot of this um, this peeling off. So that's a huge bummer. But look how cool these are. So um, they're even dangly, and they're Monet um, clip-ons. So bummer, but you know what? Someone might be able to use these cool pieces as in a craft or collage or something. Next, I have these. Um, it's like Cloisonne II. Uh, these braided, like kind of curved or maybe half hoop earrings. I'm not sure what the what the style is called. Um, but yeah, they're they're big and they're not marked. But um, I think these will sell for sure. They're really pretty. And I'm just going to try to think of some good keywords. Okay. And then we have these, which are really pretty. Um, this does have a scratch there, which is a bummer. But it's got they've got all the stones. Um, so I'll still try to sell them. I don't see any marks in the back, but let me open it up. Because sometimes it's right here. Nope, I don't see any marks. But pretty classic. Let's see, how would they be on the ears? Yeah, so they'd be like that. They're very pretty, so um, I'll still give it a try. Uh, next is this cool, I don't know, this reminds me like, there's one Disney princess that wears one like this. Like, I think it's um, Sleeping Beauty, maybe Cer is it Cinderella, maybe Snow White, I don't know. Um, but it's this pretty, like, velvet, I don't know, strap, I guess, and it's kind of meant to be a choker almost. This is just a plastic bead, um, and can you slide it? No. So that's good. At least it's right in the middle. Um, just kind of a hook clasp. So I think I'm going to give this to my friend's daughter, honestly. I'm not sure that it would even sell for very much with everything being, um, you know, plastic and stuff. I might be able to say it's a princess necklace, so I'm going to think about it, but I think that she sh would really enjoy this. So let me know what you think. If you think it's worth trying to sell and say like Cinderella or I mean princess jewelry I guess I could yeah I could get into the whole cosplay to thing too with this we'll see um, next this is a beautiful necklace and looking at the the length of it it would probably be pretty short um, I think this is a really nice necklace I wouldn't say there's anything really special about it but it's nice quality um and I'm gonna give it a shot because I don't I mean with things being hard to source right now it's not I'm not really in the position to be really choosy about what I list if this is gonna make me 10 or 15 bucks then great and um yeah I mean it's a great necklace it's just not there's no huge wow factor so I will definitely sell this let me see if it's marked anywhere nope but this can definitely be like office jewelry, casual jewelry, um, 
trying to think of what else I could do. Like, not mother of the bride jewelry or something. Don't want to wear black to a wedding. I'm trying to think. I'll have to brainstorm a little bit more. Here's a really, really pretty style bracelet. Um, this is Micro Mosaic. So these little, little tiny... Excuse my nails. Um, little mosaics. Now there's a little piece missing there. Let's see how the rest of it is. That's the only missing piece that I'm seeing. Yep. Yeah. So I'm still going to try to sell it because there are people that, you know, collect the micro mo mosaic. Um, a lot of times they're made in Italy. So, especially where it's a heart. And I love the colors. I will definitely try to sell that. Um, this is an awesome bracelet. It's actually a set. So we've got the bracelet and we've got the, uh oh, dropped it. I'll have to get that. Um, the earrings. And they're post earrings. So it looks like a little bird, maybe a dove. Um, really intricate drawing here. It's embossed um, and definitely very shiny. So there's so many things that I could put for keywords and try to market this to. So if it's a dove, it could be, um, the dove is a symbol of peace um, and the Holy Spirit, if for as far as religion goes. So this could definitely go for a lot of different purposes. It could be um, some kind of religious gift. It could be, I don't know, I'm going to have to think about it, but there are a lot of different ways that I could market this. Um, the bracelet's gorgeous too, in great shape. Let me see if there's a mark. I don't see anything on the earring. I love that they're square too. I don't know why, I just do. Okay, I don't see a mark there. Okay, nope. Um, yeah, I just love this. Now, if it were a dove with like an olive branch, that would be even better, but boy, that's gorgeous. I love the black with the gold. Very classy. I love this. I just love this, this bracelet. So unique and cool looking. Um, I mean, if someone were, were wearing this, I would notice it right away. So it's like all, I, these are plastic, but um, these like, I don't know, would that be embossed? These circles that have flowers and different colors. I love the gold tone. Um, I don't see a mark. I don't really see any of the gold tone wearing off to, oh, I do see a mark. What does that say? Oh, I have it backwards. <laughs> I think it says celebration. Celebrity? Yeah, I think it's celebrity. So I'll have to look that up. But this is just very, um, very unique for sure. Look how cool this is. It's like, um, I don't know if it's glass. It's cold, so it might be glass. It's like an etched glass cameo. And it's not the most detailed cameo, but it also has earrings that match. So pretty. Okay, um, I'm looking at the diamonds or the rhinestones around it, and they are all, all there, thankfully. They're clip-ons. I don't see a mark anywhere, which would, oops. But I'm sure I'll still be able to find good comps with um, like etched glass cameo jewelry. And this is a this is a whopping pendant. I mean, it weighs quite a bit. I love the chain, like a braided twist chain. So, so pretty. So I'm really excited to get this listed. I just hope that I can really get a good picture of it. Well, I don't think there's a piece that's in here that isn't going to a craft lot that's a bad piece that I'm not excited to, to list. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know how your um, sourcing experience is going. I mean, don't give away your secrets, obviously, but if you shop on shopgoodwill.com, let me know if you've seen a difference, too. I hope that you're all doing well and um, that you're hanging in there for sure and stay safe. And I will see you next time. Please feel free to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. I also do what solds pretty consistently. Um, and like this video if you liked this video. Thank you so much. Bye.